Well, again, nice to have your company this Wednesday morning. Now, uh, coming up, they've been battling it out all morning. They're actually friends, but I'm not sure they will be at the end of the show. Who's going to be crowned the king or queen of Beat the Starless this morning? John Scott or Loose Women's Carol McGiffin? We'll find out at 12.15. Plus, we meet the new internet singing sensations. They're called Blake. Three months ago, they'd never even met. Now, thanks to a networking website, they are on their way to stardom. First, though, uh, Angela Bilbrook and had always dreamed of a wedding day that would be out of this world and totally unforgettable, and uh, that's exactly what she got. Indeed, because in May this year, Angela and her groom Tony donned their Starship Enterprise uniforms and tied the knot in true Trekkie style with a Vulcan as a vicar. So it's now time to say, beam me up, Scotty, to Tony and Angela and her very own Paul Ross. Oh. It worked. Bit, well. of bit of difficulty Whoa. there locking on you, but uh, we did right. it eventually. Oh. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Different? Definitely. Yes, yes. and yes. did everybody turn up in, in Trekkie outfits? About a third of the guests did. Yeah. Most of yeah. them were asked, and some of them did, and some of them didn't, oh. but there was a lot of people that did. We were very impressed. And for the first time ever, the groom's hair took longer than the bride's. <laughs> he doesn't just wash and go with his Klingon hair. Does he look at him. took half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> He's from the Manchester side of Klingon. That's right, yeah. How did you persuade the vicar to dress up as a... He's a Trekkie as well. Oh, he's a Trekkie. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you have the ties for him, or how did you no, find him? No, he's a friend. No, he's, he's a family friend, and he's um, a huge Trekkie, and when we said we were going to do it, he yeah. says, can he officiate, so... Because originally you were going to go away and do this, weren't you? It was a, a Trekkie convention, I think. Yeah, That's right. Vegas. Well, I thought it was a planet or something you were going to go to, no. The <laughs> Trekkie convention. Yeah, yeah. Trekkie well, convention in Vegas. Las Vegas. So yeah. why did you decide to, to do it here in the end? A lot of our family and friends are also Trekkies, and they had said that they wanted to go, and they said, could we do it here? Um, and my cousin manages um, a function room, so he said that he would do it out. So that's what we did. I have to say, Angela, you know, <laughs> most brides want to look at their absolute most beautiful on their wedding day, and you're a lovely looking lady, but I'm sorry, the nose. <laughs> You know, that's not makeup, not, Ruth. It's it's not not the makeup. You put your foot in it again, girl. <laughs> it's not the sort of nose most brides would dream of on their wedding day, is it? No, no. but when I wanted to be an alien. She's an alien, you see. I so it has to be an alien. Wear. So yes, I'm a Bajoran. So is it is it was it easy to talk and do your vows with your nose like that? It, not bad, not bad. Um, but my daddy insisted it looked like a plaster, and halfway through the day he decided to remove it, and it hurt. Ow, ow. Now, can I ask a personal question? You're going to Vegas as you planned, but for your honeymoon, sort of now. We are, yes. yes. Will you be wearing the gear on the honeymoon night? <laughs> you see, you <laughs> get so personal. Mm, not alone. <laughs> <laughs> and Angela yeah, lives this part because the fascinating thing is you are a science teacher. I am, yes. Yeah. Do you read the uh, the maintenance manuals of the Enterprise? I do, and, yes. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. All the I technical mean, stuff? Oh, yeah. Um, Tony's also in that because he's also a maintenance manager, so he, he's in that as well. So, yeah. Oh. I build them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I'm not a Trekkie myself, so mm. what are you, Tony? Are I'm you a, a Klingon. A Klingon. A Klingon, yes. In and Starfleet must, uniform. And you must never say to a Klingon, hock, tock, show, shiklock, must you? No. Oh, thank goodness, that, that means, means slipped out That means well. your mother is a smooth head. No. <laughs> She's not, though. Easy, oh. easy, <laughs> easy. Now, off. do you ever get people, you said a lot of your family and friends are Trekkies. Yes. Yeah. But what about, you must come across people who would, well, well, poke fun at you. Yes. 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 And how do you respond to that? If somebody says, those two, they're mad. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I was a closet trekkie for years because of what you've just said, but when yeah. I met Angela, uh, it all sort of came out, I don't care anymore. Yeah, she was your dream come true. That's right, yeah. So what, what about this, this life? And it is, it is, it's more than a pastime, isn't mm. it? It's almost yeah. like a, a religion for you. What is this that, that takes you away from, you know, your job as a production manager, your job as a, as a science teacher? Mm. Uh, I think for both of us, really, it's Gene Roddenberry's vision of a utopia where everybody is equal, mm -hmm. um, and it's that that inspires us both. Lovely. So, yeah. And off the original series, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, whatever, what is your favourite type of Star Trek? Um, Voyager these days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was very... Cool. I grew up with the original. When Next Generation came out, I was really into that, but Voyager just tops them all for me. Well, guys... What's yours, fave? What's your favourite? Oh, James T. Has to be. He's, he's the best. Yeah, he's the man, too. isn't yeah. he? Man. Guys, live long and prosper. I suppose live that's, that's a good thing. Thank you, you very much. Can you do that? Can you do the split one? No. no. Yeah. I've been practising this morning. <laughs>
It's a boy thing, isn't it? It's a boy thing. Definitely, yeah. And enjoy your honeymoon at your convention. Thank you. Thank you. You've set the whole trend now. You see, there'll be all these people from the Trekkies that'll all be saying, oh, love that dress, love that. And here's his outfit. You made this. I did, yeah. Why would you describe that? It's the dress uniform from the new ones. Yeah, the last film, Nemesis. You don't have one left over in medium, do you? Yes, we do. Oh, I don't know. I could sort one out for you. OK, top one. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, it's a weird old world, isn't it? If you thought that was strange, you haven't seen anything yet. Uh, Paul's back with us after the break with lots more uh, wonderful stories from around the world, including a shoplifting seagull. Stop it's it. True, it's true. It's very funny. Um, a nursing home for dogs and the biggest public toilet in the world. Don't yes. miss it. It's very odd. See you after this. <laughs> Oh, shh, I'm right.